Hey, <clears throat> welcome. So we are going to have a recording tonight of our reaction to this We're Not Paying for Migrants extended stay from Fox. So let's listen. And we're going to comment. I've got my popcorn. I've got my beer. Let's go. It took me a while to get this set up. Before we get started tonight, you might notice my voice is shot. I was at the Eagles game yesterday. So don't worry, I'm not sick. I'm sick of winning. We'll have more on the Eagles later on the show. But now for this. Staying at a hotel is great. Somebody makes the bed for you, fresh towels every day, and room service. Room service is nice. Nice. This is a vacation. <laughs> Two scoops, sir? Two. Make it three. Make it three. No matter how much fun you're having, you can't stay at a hotel forever. Facts. Don't tell that to the migrants here in New York. The mayor's been putting up illegals in swanky hotels that cost up to 500 a night. Wow. Now, he's trying to kick them out, but the migrants don't want to go. Huh. Oh, wow. Let me translate. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving. <laughs> the city is trying to send them to a different taxpayer funded shelter, but they got used to a life of luxury. Huh. The hotel they're in now has a pool, gym, TVs, dry cleaning, a restaurant, bar, and lounge. Oh, wow. They don't want to go somewhere that doesn't have those types of amenities. Oh. Uh -huh. so, so the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal is a large structure, it's not meant to be inhabited. It is a thousand. Beds, beds made out of hard material. There's no space for personal What is a bed you made out of personal all. belongings? You have to put them in a locker that's out of your control. There's only four bathrooms for a thousand men, which is unsustainable. Uh, for anybody who's working, it's in an isolated part of the city away from where many of them work, and it's cold. When someone else is paying, you don't yeah. get to choose where your room is. Fact. This is not like taking someone out to dinner where she can just choose whatever she wants from the menu. This is like when you're staying over at someone's house. If they tell you to sleep on the couch, you sleep on the couch. If they say you're having chicken for dinner, you're not having steak. Yeah. Our rules, our house. Yeah. We pay the bills. All right. And it's a big bill. At least a million a month just for the hotels. Wow. Now the migrants extended checkout. How extended? How long are we paying for the migrants to live for free in Times Square hotels? Until Easter? Oh, well. Until next Easter? No. Forever? <laughs> they should be thankful they're not getting deported. That's... We had a president who deported migrants and built hotels. And now we have a president who imports migrants and pays for their hotels. <clears throat> These migrants that we're shacking up aren't even families. You heard the guy. They're single men. Oh, wow. So, ladies, if you're interested, they're staying at the Watson. And they're giving the rest of the migrants a bad rap. They come here saying they want to work and then protest that they don't get free rent. I guess they're assimilating quickly. They're already protesting and trashing hotel rooms. Oh, wow. I mean, if you want to stay in Times Square, get naked and grab a guitar. People will pay you. Sure, Brooklyn's not Martha's Vineyard, but it beats wherever they came from. Facts. They left shanty towns. Shanty towns. Lives, crawled through jungles, marched through deserts to get here. Right. And now they're drawing the line at Brooklyn. <laughs> they're from Venezuela, and they don't want to go to Brooklyn. <laughs> We're giving them free food, free rent, and beds on the Brooklyn waterfront. The definition of migrant is to move from one place to another. But now they're done moving. They traveled 3,000 miles to come here, and now they don't want to go one more mile? Oh, wow. The migrants want to stay at this luxury hotel and pay for it by defunding the police. <laughs> the immediate resolution is that the Hotel Watson needs to accept these men back and put them back into their rooms. The longer term Hello. solution is that to reallocate funding from overfunded departments like the NYPD into housing vouchers and other housing. He's asking for free housing. These migrants have been wow. moved all over New York City ever since they were bused here. 
Uh-huh. Mayor can't figure out what to do with them. First, he stuck them in the Bronx, but then the residents got really upset. This is, you know, this is kind of shocking. I'm concerned with my safety. There's a park she right should be. There. Kids go to play in that park. So that worries me. So why would they do this? Why not house them elsewhere? They take our money and they do whatever they want with it. So much money and help is being put out there for other people that are coming into this country, but not much is being put into the people that live in this country. And then the mayor built Ouch. a shelter on an island and stuck them there. He gave them Xboxes and popcorn machines and fluff uh-huh. and full laundry service, even cold fluff and full snacks. Mm. Also, be snacks that are provided, coffee, tea, water, 24 hours a day. Um, oh, wow. Meals are all culturally appropriate. It is uh, culturally appropriate. But that what the fuck good does that mean? The mayor put them up in hotels. Huh? And then the migrants trashed the rooms. Oh, wow. They drank all day, smoked weed, had sex in the staircase, got in fights. Wow. And then the migrants tossed all the free food in the garbage and set up makeshift kitchens in their rooms, even though their hot plates were fire hazards. Oh, wow. They wanted more culturally appropriate snacks. <laughs> we're cooking for them now. I thought they were here to cook for us. Isn't that what the San Antonio sheriff said? <laughs> if you go to any restaurant in San Antonio, Texas right now, you're going to wait a long time to get your table, even though there's empty tables, because there's not enough wait staff to wait on you. There, you're going to wait a long time for your food because there's not enough people to, to cook it in the back. Half the cooks maybe aren't, aren't showing up to work or they uh. quit. Hire these folks. The only place it's a bigger mess in these hotel rooms is the border. Look at this video from Texas. Troopers spotted a group of illegals bailing out of a smuggler's pickup truck. Watch. 23. 2005. They're bailing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Wow. And the smuggler hit the gas, hit about 110 miles an hour, and then went off the road. <laughs> uh, we'll be out. Good spot. Uh, 1050 rollover. Get on the ground! Get out! Oh, wow. Oh. Oh shit. Let me see your hand. What up? What up? Yeah, the police found a handgun on the smuggler after the arrest. No shit. If they just made it a little farther north, they would have gotten their culturally appropriate meals. <laughs> and in Mission, Texas, Border Patrol found a group of eagles <laughs> disguised as cyclists. That's hella funny. Around the border. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Did the migrants not realize there's an app? You might have heard about an app. app for illegals. It lets them make a reservation for when they want to break into the country. Oh, wow. Check in with how that's going. New appointments are available every day, starting at 6 a.m. The vast amount of people trying to apply is overwhelming the system. Many aren't able to log in, while some who do say the app crashes before they're able to confirm their appointment. Some huh. complain and say, but I don't even have a cell phone. Sadly, they do need a cell phone and email to communicate. So it's busted. The app crashes all the time and there's no open appointments. It's easier just to walk through the border. Oh, and apparently Biden's app for illegals is racist. If you're dark skinned and submit a photo of yourself, you get an error message. Critics say the app has issues detecting the photos some applicants use. Personas, problems with people of African descent having difficulty taking the photo. The Ah. app is not recognizing the photos of these people. So we have Africans coming now. What's the root cause of that, Kamala? I thought this was all about Central America, not the entire world flying to Mexico to break in. So where is our border czar? She needs to shut down this broken racist app right now. Treat it like Mayor Pete treats racist bridges. But she's too busy fighting for her political life. Even Democrats are turning on Kamala. Pocahontas doesn't think it's time for a new VP. Pocahontas. If he's that old in a second term, that becomes even more important. Could Kamala Harris be the, his choice the second time around? You know, I, I really want to defer to what makes Biden comfortable on his team. I've known <laughs> Kamala for a long time. I like Kamala. I 
knew her back when she was when she was <laughs> attorney general and I was still uh, uh, teaching and we worked on the housing crisis together. So we go way back, but they need, they have to be a team. Kamala and I go way back, but Biden should get rid of her. An incumbent president hasn't dumped their VP since the 1940s. Hmm. When FDR, his fourth term dumped, oh, who cares? And Pocahontas is ready to toss out Kamala? Oh, wow. What's going on here? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch wow. our hottest interview. That was interesting. Um, okay, so it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, these are people who are immigrating from Venezuela and shit, and like... How are they complaining about getting free bread, free beds and housing in Brooklyn when they literally said they were running from like death? And also, dude is literally asking for housing vouchers. I'm sorry, like, absolutely not. How can immigrants qualify for housing vouchers? Even people in America can't qualify for housing vouchers. The wait list for housing vouchers is like 10 years. Okay. There are people who have been poor here for like their whole lives and they can't get a housing voucher. What the fuck makes these people think that they can get housing vouchers after being here for like one day? I'm so confused. <clears throat> I'm so confused. I don't understand.